Hi DIYers, Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're actually going to show you how to interface an uh, August smart lock with a security system through Z-Wave. The smart lock, the third gen, does have a Z-Wave module inside of it, and you can actually interface it with your alarm system, assuming that your alarm system has a Z-Wave module or Z-Wave controller installed, and that it's compatible with the August smart lock. So, before you do go out and purchase one of these and try to set it up with your system, it's a good idea just to check out your system or call your security provider just to make sure that your system has the necessary equipment installed in it and that it's going to be compatible with the lock because the lock isn't uh, cheap, I would say. So before you do go out and purchase it, just make sure that it's going to work with everything that you're looking for it to do. Today though, we already have the lock set up and we already have our account set up in the August Smart Home app. Before you go to do your Z-Wave inclusion with the lock, you're gonna to have to set it up with the app, get that synced up, and then update the firmware on the lock. This will prompt you as you're going through the app, so don't feel like you have to go through the app and search for these exact functions. This is gonna go through this process when you do set up the lock, and when you do go to the Z-Wave menu. Today we're gonna to take the lock and we're actually gonna interface it with our IQ2 panel up here. So let's show you how to do that. The first thing that we're gonna do is jump into the app on our iPad and go to the proper menu that we need to navigate to. So on our iPad, we're gonna open up the August app, click on our lock, it's connecting right now. We're not gonna calibrate it as it's sitting on the table and it's not installed in the door. So I'm gonna click on cancel click on the gear, and then click on lock settings right here. I'm gonna scroll down and click on Z-Wave settings. And as you can see, it says your lock is not connected to a Z-Wave hub. One thing that you won't have to do with an August smart lock is perform an exclusion on it before you perform an inclusion. On a lot of Z-Wave devices, you're gonna do this just to clear out any programming that may be in the device before you include it to make the interfacing a little smoother and easier without any issues. The August lock though, because it's such a smart device and it's communicating right with the app, it's gonna tell us if there's anything going on. As you can see, the lock's not connected to a Z-Wave hub, so we're ready to interface it right with our alarm system. So I'm gonna say add to a Z-Wave network. It's telling me, please put your Z-Wave hub in inclusion mode before continuing. So on our IQ2, I'm gonna slide down from the top, click on settings, advanced settings, enter, user code. enter the default 2222, click on installation, devices, Z-Wave devices, and then add device. And then click on include to put the system in inclusion mode. Then on the tablet, my hub is in inclusion mode, so I'm going to click on that. And as you can see on our IQ2, it has discovered the lock and it's in the process of setting it up. And there you go. You can see that we have our information for the lock. I'm just going to name it. Let's call it the garage door. And it's good enough. I'm going to click on add. Whoops, already have a garage door. Let's do the back door. As you can see on the tablet, it says you are connected to a Z-Wave hub that's using the S0 security protocol. August Smart Lock Pro supports the new S2 protocol, which we recommend for the highest security. This isn't going to give us any issues in operation. It's just telling us that the Z-Wave controller in this particular alarm system is a little older than the one that will give you the maximum amount of security. But again, it's nothing really to worry about. So I'm going to click OK. It says your lock has been successfully connected to the Z-Wave hub. I'm going to click done. And then if we go to our system itself and I click the home, <clears throat> and then I slide over, front door, back door. So there you go. So you can see that the lock is actually connected to the system via Z-Wave and that everything is working. If you do have any questions about this process though, connecting your August lock to a Z-Wave compatible or a Z-Wave hub, <clears throat> your security system, how to interface it or what features you're gonna get from using this particular lock with your service, feel free to give us a call at 888-818-7728. Send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com 
or head to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.